Hello, everyone. This is the story of Bolivia, one of the most special countries in the world, where you will have to bring oxygen tank when you come here. Bolivia is home to everything in the highest position in the world, the highest city in the world, the highest forest in the world, the highest country in the world, the highest stadium in the world, all located in this country. Bolivia is a beautiful country with exceptional hospitality of the people. Many visitors will be surprised by the unspoiled natural landscape here, a country in South America with most of the world's climate features. Coming here, you will have the opportunity to explore many typical terrains, from cold peaks to deserts, tropical rainforests, and vast savannas. Today, we will explore the interesting things of this highest country in the world. Bolivia is officially known as the Bolivian Republic, named after the revolutionary Simon Bolivar. It's a landlocked country in the heart of South America. It borders Brazil to the north and east, Paraguay and Argentina to the south, Chile and Peru to the west. The territorial area is nearly 1.1 million square kilometers. The population as of 2022 is about 12.8 million people. Bolivia's area is quite large, but its population is very few. Therefore, it's also one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. The country has a feature that the western half is extremely high, with an average altitude of about 3,000 meters above sea level. In fact, it wouldn't matter if you didn't live at this altitude. But in Bolivia, most cities and people live in the west, the country's highest point. The country also has two capitals, the constitutional capital Sucre at 2,810 meters and the administrative capital La Paz at 3,640 meters. Nine of the ten most populous cities in Bolivia are located in the west. With an altitude of about 3,000 meters above the water, Bolivians probably have the largest and strongest lungs on the planet, able to live at such a high altitudes. For others who come to Bolivia, perhaps they will receive valuable advice, which is to bring an oxygen tank. The country has 37 official languages. Bolivia's culture is an interesting one, blending elements of indigenous culture and Spanish culture. The people of Bolivia had lived under Spanish rule for so many years, and then Bolivia had been liberated from Spain. But the influences of Spanish culture are still there, create interesting mixtures. One of the most dangerous roads in the world, located in Bolivia. Bolivia is also famous for the Yungas Road, which is known as the most dangerous road in the world, stretches from La Paz to the Amazon rainforest in the north of the country. Accordingly, it was built in the 1930 with a length of 70 kilometers, located at an altitude of 3,660 meters above sea level. The road surface is only about 3 meters wide, following the mountain without any cover or protection. Moreover, the road surface is bumpy, sometimes people are forced to overcome extremely scary vertical slopes. Therefore, traffic accidents here are not unusual. Every year between 200 and 300 people are killed, even if they go at a turtle crawling speed. There are quite a few crosses on both sides of the road, reminding people that fatal accidents are always lurking. However, the road has a strange attraction to adventurers. Cyclists love to try the road of death, and in the past five years, at least 18 cyclists have died here. In fact, people have been advised not to go this road, but the Bolivians don't have many choices. They still have to move regularly on this road. Recently, Bolivia has developed a cable car system. It makes travel simpler for people in the capital, and it's one of the longest cable car systems in the world. La Paz is the administrative capital of Bolivia, where the headquarters of Bolivian government agencies are located, as well as the capital of the La Paz region. In addition, La Paz is also known as the highest capital in the world when it's located at an altitude of about 3,250 to 4,100 meters above sea level. With an area of 472 square kilometers, it's home to about 820,000 people. Because the higher you go, the thinner the air, the lower the temperature. Therefore, many tourists coming here will suffer from altitude sickness with symptoms such as headache, dizziness, and nausea. This can be very harmful to health if anyone is having heart problems and blood pressure. Not only is the world famous for its height, the capital La Paz also has the Hernando Sile Stadium, which is known as the most dangerous stadium in the world. The reason people say that is because there are many players from different national teams constantly complaining about miserable things during game time. Many people said that on the field it was difficult to breathe, some got dizzy, others vomited. Even football superstars like Messi once had to say, it's scary to play here. Meanwhile, the Bolivian players are comfortable, and this often helps them beat higher status opponents. 
in this capital is also famous for San Perro Prison, which is known to have a more comfortable life at home. San Perro is located in the central area and is home to thousands of inmates. However, life inside San Perro is unlike any other prison in the world, but it's like a miniature residential area when prisoners don't have to face four boring prison walls every day. They can work, shopping, or rent accommodation, and can bring their families here to live. In order to survive in this prison, they worked very hard and opened a lot of coffee shops, restaurants. They even openly produced drugs for a living. Let's go to one of the most interesting places in Bolivia and other interesting facts about this country. Lake Titicaca is a special lake. Titicaca Lake is located in both Bolivia and Peru. It's one of the largest freshwater lakes in the world, with an area of about 8,240 square kilometers and this freshwater lake is at an altitude of 3,840 meters above sea level. This lake has a length of about 180 kilometers. The widest part is about 80 kilometers. The average depth of the lake is 40 meters, and the deepest place can reach 200 meters. Lake Titicaca is a place that contains many mysteries of South American culture. It was also the center of legendary Inca characters. The first king of the Inca Empire was born here. Lake Titicaca is home to the famous reed islands, built by the Euros. Although the artificial islands are woven from reeds, but thousands of people still live here every day. This lake contains a lot of interesting things, and also mysterious legends. Many archaeologists have paid special attention to study of Lake Titicaca. Even world-famous oceanographers have come here to research. There is a story. Around the 1970s of the last century, there are scientists who use professional diving equipment to explore the bottom of the lake, and they found in the bottom of the lake Titicaca. There are many strange animals. Among them is a large toad species. Its weight can be more than 15 kilograms. The skin of this toad has many colors. An adult toad can weigh up to 18 kilograms, look like a large balloon. Its meat is very sour and inedible. Its eyes were blind from birth because they often live for a long time in the depths of the lake. They almost never rise above the water all their lives. If humans don't have the supportive devices, it's difficult to reach this toad species. In addition, scientists also discovered a lot of ancient artifacts at the bottom of the lake. There are gold artifacts, ceramic vases, and even a temple made of stone in the lake. However, the excavation of these artifacts was met with a reaction from the inhabitants. Because they fear that disturbances in the lake can create the wrath of the gods, then the wrath would arise and natural disasters could fall on the people here. Therefore, the excavation of the relics in the lake not allowed to continue. And that makes Lake Titicaca one of the most mysterious lakes in the world. In addition to famous places, the unique festive customs, Bolivia also attract many visitors because of its uniqueness and horror. The first festival will surely make many people creepy because it's too scary. It was a festival of decorating the skulls for the dead. At the beginning of November each year, the indigenous Aymara people of the Western Highlands of Bolivia will decorate the skulls of the deceased with flowers and hats. Bolivians believe that each person has seven souls, of which the skull contains a soul. They believe that the soul inside the skull can take care of the living and protect them from diseases and accidents. The decoration of the skull is a way of showing gratitude to the soul that resides within. It makes more sense to use a family member's own remains Although a gruesome grave theft industry has sprung up because of this festival to deliver stolen skulls to participants' need. This is probably also the most unique and creepy custom in the world that no other country possesses like Bolivia. In addition, we can mention the unique festival fighting for Mother Nature, Fachamam. According to the inhabitants of the remote Bolivian town of Macha, the best way to appease Mother Nature is to team up to join in hand-to-hand -hand fights with people from the neighboring village. This festival has been celebrated for hundreds of years with the belief that bloodshed will attract a bountiful harvest the following season. Here, drinks, music and dance performances are what you will enjoy as you watch this traditional ritual fighting. This is also the end of the story of Bolivia, the most dangerous country on the planet, where you'll need oxygen when you come here. What else do you know about Bolivia? Share with us. Thank you for watching. If you find it interesting, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Now, goodbye and see you in the next sections.